One thing that happens to music producers is that we accumulate all these sounds over time and then our computer ends up looking like an episode of Hoarders. But the problem is that it's time consuming to go through all of the folders and all those different sample packs that you have to find like the exact right sound that you're looking for. And in the meantime, your creative juices are kind of dwindling away a little bit. Well, the plugin called XO by XLN Audio is here to save the day and it's seriously life-changing. So let's go over some of the ways that it helps you save time and then stay in that creative headspace for as long as possible, which is exactly what we wanna do. Let's take a look. So when you first pull open XO, this is what it looks like, like a some sort of galaxy, right? <laughs> and it can be a little overwhelming if you've never seen it before, but once you spend a couple of minutes with it, it actually makes a lot of sense. So after you point XO to where your samples are located on your computer, it will organize all of your sounds and then color code them based on their spectral qualities, right? On the left here, you can see we've got a bunch of red stuff and this is all kicks, different kinds of kicks. And then in the middle, uh, this blue section, we've got snares. <laughs> I just love doing that in general. And then on the right here, uh, this yellow, these yellows are all hats. And then of course, you know, we've got some other sounds in there, uh, you know, like toms and, and all that, which are other colors, which you can explore. So let's say that we wanted to find like a big snare sound for whatever we're working on. We can just kind of scan around the blue galaxy. And then we said, okay, this one sounds similar to the, to the type of thing I'm going for, but it's not quite the one that I want. Well, now what you can do is you can just cycle through the similar snares that are grouped together even more specifically than, uh, you know, different types of sounds. And you can just cycle through these until we find something. And then maybe we could settle on this second one because it has more of that clap sound in there. Well, now all we have to do is you see these little arrows next to snare, which is what we're working on. You just click this arrow here and it will add it into what you might think of as like the pad or just the snare sampler inside of XO. And if you wanna be able to trigger it with MIDI, all you need to do is go down to D1 and you can just trigger it that way. So let's also find a nice kick here. Maybe we like this one, okay? And we'll cycle through with our arrows and find some other candidates. Maybe that one there. And we again click the arrow and it will add it to our kick. And then maybe just a hat for good measure. We'll add that to our hi-hat here. So now that we've selected our sounds from the galaxy, what do we do now? How do we make the beat? Well, there's a couple of different ways that you can go. And one of the reasons I like this plugin is that it's pretty flexible that way. The easiest thing that you can do from this point is to just record the MIDI sounds as you would normally. And this is gonna work nicely for all you guys out there who like to have humanizing elements inside of your beats. Um, I like to humanize all of my drum sounds, so I normally like to work this way, but there is another way, and that's to use the sequencer that's inside of XO, which is excellent. If you are the type of person who likes to work with sequencers, the first thing that you wanna do is press this little play button, and that essentially syncs up your DAW, you know, the tempo and where you are in terms of bars and beats with XO and the sequencer within XO. So press the play button and then head up to the top and go to this edit tab. And this is kind of where you can start to sequence the beat. And you can see that we've got the hat here, we've got the snare and the kick, and everything is organized horizontally from left to right, sort of this general signal flow. So if we wanted to program program in something pretty basic. If we just press play in our DAW, you can see that it's playing in XO now as well. We can just start clicking in. The cool part about working like that too is that you can keep this running while you're doing all of the other aspects of looping or you know just adding to your composition, whatever it is. And you don't have to worry about like copying and pasting a bunch of MIDI clips one after the other, just so that you have enough and it's long enough so you can keep recording and get some ideas down. Now there's a lot of stuff we could go over with the sequencer and this is not gonna be a tutorial on how to use the sequencer. But for example, you can control the velocities like this. You just drag up and down, which is pretty nice. You can actually add triplets by using these little dots below where you click in on the sequencer. And of course you can even nudge the timing a little bit, which I like to do. Make the hats a little bit later, make the snare a little earlier. The other cool thing that you can do from this edit tab is that you can 
shape the sounds how you see fit. So let's start with the hat here. You know, of course you can pan it and you can change like the envelope. So if we wanted the, this hat to be tighter, we can just do that by adjusting the holder decay. If we wanted the snare to be a little bit higher pitch, change the tone, which kind of does sort of like a tilting thing where it will either add highs and reduce lows or add lows and reduce highs depending on uh, how you want your tone to be. So if we wanted a brighter snare, we could do this. There's also a little EQ here. We could make the uh, hat a little bit darker. You also have a couple of uh, sends available, some sends and returns. So if I uh, drag this one slider up here, it'll, it's sending to the reverb, which is currently set to be a big hall. And on top of that, you can even add a bit of saturation in there too, if you want to. just kind of dirty up your sounds a little bit. So as you guys can see, it's it's really fast to do all of the things that you would normally need to do with your drum sounds, you know, sequence your beat, process each individual sound, and then add effects and stuff, and uh, maybe even adjust the velocities and add some, some different patterns. But I'm about to show you guys my favorite feature in this whole plugin. <laughs> and if you haven't seen this before, you're gonna love it. So let's say you're working on the track and you wanna see how it sounds with all of your processing still on there, but with different drum sounds and just change up the vibe a little bit. What you can do is come down to the bottom left and look at this like little sphere. It kinda looks like a mini map or something. And you just cycle through these arrows and it will change out each hit for the next most similar hit in the series for each drum sound. So let's, let's get this playing and you'll hear what I'm talking about. I find it really useful for those situations where, you know, like you've even built the whole beat and you've got all of your keys and your bass sounds going just how you want it, but the drums aren't quite fitting together like you imagine that they would. And so you can just kind of shuffle things around and audition how the different drum sounds will sound with everything that you've got. It keeps all the processing that you did already. So it keeps the pitched up snare. It's a little bit brighter. The hat is a little bit darker and a little bit tighter. So it keeps all of that for you, but just switches out the sounds, which is really nice. And you can even take this a step further too by randomizing the sounds that it selects within the series for each drum sound. So if you go to the sample combiner here at the top, you can see that it's, it's selected the same number in each series. But if you click this little dice, you can randomize the ones that it selects here. So let's play this and take a listen. So once you're happy with your sound selections and, and everything that you've processed, how do you get the sounds into your DAW? Well, this is where some of the magic comes in. So you go up to the top right with this little arrow pointing up and that's the export button. And what you can do is click render waves and it gives you some options here, but essentially you can drag either your raw sound for each of your hits, the processed sound or the stems or even just the MIDI. And you can just drag it right into your DAW. So if I just wanted to continue to work within XO, but just have MIDI clips that I'm playing from in my DAW, I can just drag the beat as MIDI here right into my DAW, maybe duplicate this a few times. And we can turn off this play button now since we don't need our step sequencer to to be playing at the same time as what we've got in our DAW here. For those of you who like to work in Ableton, you can actually, um, you can work within drum rack after you sort out all of your sounds within XO. So if you just uh, open up a drum rack here, you can just drag the process kit into drum rack here. And now, there we've got it right in our drum rack and you can continue to work how you're used to working. And when you click render waves, it will actually create new audio files within the folder that you set the first time that you open this menu. And that's nice because if you process your drums in a certain way that you really like and you maybe want to use for future projects, it will always be right in that folder that you set. And so it's really easy to just, you know, import sounds that you export from XO 
uh, into newer projects rather than having to find the old project and then re-export them and then import them into the new one. It saves you from all that hassle. And you can even drag out your stems too uh, if you prefer to work with audio right into your project here. So exporting from XO into your DAW is actually pretty simple and it's, and it's flexible depending on how you normally like to work. But overall, XO is just, it's such a unique plug in it. It's really changed how I find and use sounds. Like for example, there's sample packs like in my library that I completely forgot about. And now I feel like I'm able to use every single sound that I have. And I love the idea of removing obstacles from the creative process. Like for me, sorting through all those folders is 100% something I could do without. All right, guys, be sure to check out XO and let me know what you guys think about it. Happy music making, and we'll see you in the next video. And just before we go, we're gonna do one thing for good measure. <laughs> all right. Peace.